Hi friends. I'm Terry Leonino. And I'm Greg Artsner and we are Magpie and here we are in our little house in the Catskills only about a half an hour away from our favorite festival, the Old Songs Festival, which is of course our, our neighborhood neighbor, festival. Our neighborhood folk festival and we want to thank everybody that's been keeping that festival going for all these years, especially Andy and Bill Spence, the entire crew of and staff, the staff, the crew of volunteers, and uh, and now of course, Joy Bennett and everybody over. Ronald there, so. Lesko for helping it get out on the airwaves. Yeah. So just keep supporting your folk music, folks. We need you, and, and we love you. And we're gonna do a few songs here, and we're gonna start off with one uh, by the Boswell Sisters, one of our absolute favorites. It's called "Is That the Human Thing to Do?" And then we're gonna close out with uh, Phil Oaks' classic, one we've been singing for. Geez, I don't know how many years. 47 years. Um, called When I'm Gone. So thanks for tuning in. Enjoy. Have a great virtual festival. See you later. Take nine. <laughs> to where is human, I heard you say. Forgiveness is divine, but all the sweet things that you may say can't mend this heart of mine. Never thought that anyone in their right mind could ever treat another human so unkind. Didn't you sneak away? Your kisses turned from hot to cold Was that the human thing to do? Now I'm not trying to patch things up What's been done must be Lord, I wouldn't even treat a pup The way you treated me How could anybody be so darned unfair? You let me hang around until I learned to care Back in 2014, the day after Pete Seeger died, in January of that year, uh, we wrote this song based on uh, words that Pete had said in an interview he gave to a reporter that was published in the Washington Post. And the reporter was asking him about uh, that term, folk song. And Pete said, I never liked that term, folk song. And the guy said, well, but you're the quintessential folk singer, Pete. If you don't like the term folk song, what, what, do you, what do you call them? And Pete replied, well, I call them all love songs. And then he went through a litany of the ways in which the songs express love. And so uh, that became the gist of our song. We hope you enjoy it. I call them all love songs. Still we know love alone is not enough 
It's a song about the peace that we have won. I call them all love songs, cause that is what they are. Love, though the road be smooth or wrong. Love for this crazy world and all humanity. Still we know love alone is not enough. And they're greedy who take more than their share It is sung for the ones who help to feed body and mind Of their brothers and their sisters anywhere It's about walking, not just talking as we go Remembering the good things that we do Song about standing We know love is not enough to see us through. I call them all love songs, as that is what they are. Love, though the road be smooth or rough. Love for this crazy world and all humanity. Still we know love alone is not enough. This song was written by Pete Seeger, and it's not one that you'll hear every day. It's called The Last Train to Nuremberg. It came out of 1968 in the uh, aftermath of the My Lai Massacre. Of course, 1968 was a tumultuous year. And a lot of us in those years were talking about the lessons that we as a nation and as a world were supposed to have learned from the Nuremberg trials. Uh, the idea that complicity is a, is a crime a crime of silence. Silence itself is a crime in the face of international criminal activity, such as what was going on in Southeast Asia at the time. And now we feel that it's ever more relevant. These kinds of songs that Pete wrote it was because he used his freedom of speech. He didn't just sit back. He, he told what was going on. And so we've updated it just a wee bit from um, the 68 version. But we hope you'll sing along with us and help us keep that memory so that we can not fail again. Congress, do I see the voters need 
praise and who's to blame when I'm gone. So I guess I. Proud enough.